judge and grandson, Henry Hitch, and Henry Williams, Alan McCullough. Cowboy is lying, boxing is the business, business is good. Mullen Stadium, show 61, altitude. Are you ready to rock? We talk that talk, and then we walk that walk. She will. She is good. Now it's time to play some music. We're seeing the rest, and now it's getting ready for the rest. Ten hours past the music. Asian Council, Colonel Taylor, Michael Fisher, your supervisor. We go to the Blue Line from Doncaster East, Bath, Manchester, England. He's a Deakin University Thomas undergraduate. 221 last month, nine fights, seven wins, one draw, only one loss, two by knockout, very blue trunks, white trim, part of shadow boxer Eltham, with Ricky, Dan, Ryan, the first lady of boxing, Melissa Pavlovich, finally known as Bone Cruncher, at 69.25 kilograms, when you are them, challenger number one, Penny. Touch of black from Franks and South. He turned 21 in May. Reigning Victorian World of Light and Reigning Victorian Super World of Light Champion. Not putting those titles on the line tonight. Big Ben Shewer from Kepler Circuit Gym, Seaford, head coach. He brings us in the ring a perfect record. Seven fights, seven wins, no losses. At 69.20 kilograms, I dug him De La Hoya. Would you welcome Oscar De La Hoya? Here's Tony Moretta to give referee's instructions. This is going to be a great one, a classic. Okay, gentlemen, try to fight tonight, okay? Obey my instructions on time, defend you on time. I want a good, clean, hard fight. Back to your corners now, come out on the bell. Good stuff, Doug. This is the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Ten three-minute rounds. Oscar Ledlin fighting out of the red corner. Benny Caps in the blue corner. This will be a fantastic fight, Shree. Massive main event, and you can hear the noise in the crowd. It is huge. A big, big buzz around the Melbourne Town Hall here. Both gentlemen having a... Mints following in Melbourne. Ben Caps originally from Manchester in England. Extremely uh, credentialed fighter. That to Oscar Ledlin. Two very, very strong, capable, prospective Victorian professional fighters that have been extremely active in 2013. Just feeling each other out in this first round. Oscar winning the state title in his last outing here at Melbourne Town Hall against the Kamakeo, Joel Camilleri, who we saw earlier tonight. That was the fight of the night last time and everyone was on their feet on that occasion. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens again tonight. It's good to see Ledlin get top billing here. He's, he's really grown in leaps and bounds in each fight. And here we go and see both fighters really throwing some heavy leather there and Caps lands with a good right hand there. He's got long arms Oscar, Ben just getting caught with a couple of shots there but feeling each other out, didn't seem to phase him too much. He's very tough Ben, coming out of the shadow box of Jim in Diamond Creek. Fantastic training camp down there. looking at Tony Moretta there. But a beautiful right hand by Oscar. The long arms. Yes, that was a nice right hand again by Oscar. He's a very composed character. He's very cool and calm. And he's looking good tonight here, Oscar Ledlin. Oscar just boxing again like we saw him do against Joel Kemakeo. He's probably Great got... Fighters. He's probably got the biggest following uh, here in the crowd out of all the fighters tonight. And he's putting on a 
a very good performance in this first round. Beautiful counter there by Ben. Residing in Frankston South, Oscar Leland. Looks like he's had a bit of work done on that left arm since we last saw him. What do you I think? think so, yeah. Done a bit. Perhaps there's a cut over the top of his left eye. Over his right eye. It appears. A nice left hand there by Bernie Pappas. Oh, good counter by Bernie. Oh, he's taken to the right hand there. Great first round by both gentlemen. Going the way of Oscar with that uh, knockdown. Round two, this WBC Continental title. Great first round. Oscar Lidland just tagging Benny Caps with a straight right at the first. Both gentlemen back to the task. Both extremely fit, mixing it. And Lidland was quite aggressive there, but Caps did counter attack and lands with a nice left hand. Benny Caps. Hey, stop! Benny! What's the hello, guys? Oh, Oscar appears to have the gash on his left eye now. What a big cut, a lot of blood is, is a deep cut. Oh, good work by Benny, just going to town on Oscar there on the ropes. And the doctor might have to check out both fighters after this round. Well, here we go. Nasty cut, Tony Moretta pulling the doctor into the ring. Getting some serviettes there to treat the wound. Yeah, he's got an interesting style, this ringside doctor. You've got to let me know. You've got to let me know. The time comes Let's hope that this um, pause from play can see both fighters in a condition to fight. So beautiful, he's called back on. Great so work, gents. Give the nod. Good work by the doctor there. Both back to the boxing. Very well schooled fighters. Drop them! Dig in there, baby, dig in there! Beautiful active fighting. And these styles suit each other tonight, Shrew. They're both great caliber boxers. That left hook is powerful by Benny Caps. Caps cut certainly isn't as, as dangerous as uh, Ledlands, but. You never know what will happen. Oh, I don't know about that, true. Yeah. I don't know, but he caps his a, he's a power puncher, Oscar. Oh, it's a beautiful right hand by Benny Caps. He's targeting that left eye. Both corners calling their shots. And then, then both our fighters haven't held back, even though they they might be impeded by these cuts on both of them. And we're seeing quite a fast pace of this bout here in round number two. They're both so well and so well balanced, sorry. Beautiful left rip, left hook there by Benny Caps. The crowd getting right behind these two gentlemen. Oscar out of the uh, big bench camp down in Seaford. Benny Caps out of the right Benny Caps. Good overhand right, great overhand right. Oscar's loading up here at the end of round two. And the crowd are chanting Oscar. Oscar. He's got a great following. That cut could be inhibiting his feet. Beautiful right hand. Just tying him up there. Both gentlemen cut. It looks like Benny Caps has got a cut in the frontal part of his hair. Yeah, just a slight cut on the left side of the scalp there. Busy round for the me busy uh, minute for the medical staff here, I reckon. Doctor, have a look at the cut. Have a look. I 
Tony Marita calling time. Commencement of round three, just being all time. Tony Marita calling time. Stalled by this cut over the left eye of Oscar Lidlin. Doctor's done a good job to get it back under control. Let's hope that we can see this fight continue with no hiccups. Then he caps straight back into it. His hands are all right. Both fighters have immense respect for each other. This is a big fight for both of them. It is Five a fights is the fifth fight for Billy Caps this year, Shree. It's a big year for him. It's a worthy main event, this one. It's a great, great contest here between the two fighters fighting for the WBC Continental title. A beautiful match fight by Peter Maniatis, proudly sponsored by Ultra Tune in conjunction with Fight Sports Paris Productions. They're entertaining fighters, these lads, aren't they, Shrew? Oh, very entertaining. I wonder how the pace of the fight's going to continue because it's been he's pretty hectic ready, the first two rounds. You can hear Ben's corner skills telling him that Ledlin is hurt. Let's see what Caps does as a result. Many Caps called on by his strength and conditioning, strength and conditioning trainer Monty Hassan in the corner. And Ryan also in the corner, another stable mate out of the gym with sparring partner coming up. On the next big show, on the undercard of Zach Dunn at uh, Shopping Town Hotel, Murray Thompson production. Beautiful work by Benny Caps. Back to the jab. Nice right hand by Ben Caps. But Leonard using the jab well here. It's a good tactic. Yeah, this is an absolute war. I, I wonder how this is going to go the full 10 rounds. Oh, this is this is it's amazing stuff here. Nice, nice jab there by Leonard. Good work. Good counter by Benny Caps. He's missing. Oscar's vision may be a tad impaired by all the blood coming off that left, left cut. Big Ben's going to have to uh, do some work on that in between rounds, Shree. But he is, they are going to definitely. You can see Oscar smearing that blood away. It's dripping slowly by the side of his face. Yeah, well tied up there by Benny Caps. Both 21-year-old fighters, very exciting prospects in Victorian boxing. Let's see who... We'll take the win tonight. Great evasive skills there by Ben Caps, and he follows up with some offense to continue that impressive work. And he's cutting down the reach of Oscar Lidlin very well. He's getting on the inside of him a bit. And just working him with punches in bunches. Both lads are fighting with that style, throwing threes and fours, and that's what makes a great fight, Shree. That's what we're seeing right here. The closest seconds of round three. Both coming home strong. Beautiful work. Benny fighting off the uh, southpaw stance. Great round. Round four of this WBC Continental light middleweight title. Oscar Ledlin in the red corner. Ben Caps coming out of the blue corner. And what a fantastic fight, Shree, for a main event here at the Malvern Town Hall. This is great stuff here. And, and you look at Ledlin's trunks. He's got absolutely, oh, well, both in fact, lots of blood on their trunks. Yeah, both gentlemen, very tidy fighters. Fighting well and well above and beyond what their experience really is. I mean, how many fights have they held together? I mean, there's nine and seven, 16 fights between them in the professional ranks. It's a fantastic showing. It's a great the standard skill, here. Heart and fitness. And the fight hasn't slowed down one bit, and we're into the fourth round here of this championship bout for the WBC Continental title. And either fighter. <laughs> There's no fighters dominated proceedings here. Even though Ledlin did score the knockdown in round one, it is still quite an even fight. Yeah, very even. I think Benny sort of slightly got the last two rounds, but it's hard to say. And I, uh, after the last showing with Oscar versus Joel Kamakeo, oh, his hands are up though. But that overhand right by Oscar is coming fast. Countering well, Benny Caps. Yeah, Both gents working inside. And 
their faces look quite red, I can see, and the blood is dripping, and the crowd are absolutely going wild. Both gents have massive hearts, extremely fit. What a furious pace this bout is. Both fighters very composed, I must say. And that cut's just opening up, unfortunately for Oscar. He's doing his best. He needs a knockout quick. If any caps in my book was the heavier or stronger fighter nice in the two of the right hands rounds. there by Ben Caps. Both gents. Oh, big left. And then right by Oscar. Oscar's Bennett. coming back here. Big body shot. Got to pick up here, Benny. And look at the blood on the left eye of Oscar Ledland. I'm thinking the doctor's going to pay a lot of attention to that at the end of this round. They've just fought this right in the middle of this round, Shree. It's only touched the ropes once in my books. Unbelievable war. I think. Benny Caps just to paying close attention here. The rugby style of Oscar there. Both boys coming home, what a round! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Round five, Benny Caps versus Oscar Ledlin. Beautiful jab left, rip right hand there by Benny Caps. He's got a great kit of punches. Equal to the task tonight, Oscar Ledlin. Great fight by these gentlemen tonight. Both very, very keen to pick up this WBC Continental title, which will open many doors for them next year, Shrek. Certainly, and what a great way to finish the year for the fighter who takes out this win. Benny Caps called on by Rick, his trainer at Shadow Boxer down in Diamond Creek, just to box Oscar, box him. Both gents just want to get in there and mix it, but sometimes smarter. That's a good right hand, beautiful right hand. Get back to the boxing, Benny. He boxes beautifully. So too does Oscar. You hear Caps' corner mention the eye of Ledlin. It is a it is a big cut that Ledlin has, and Taps might be looking to further penetrate that cut and really upset the rhythm of Ledlin with having blood streaming down his face. Oh, that's beautiful body work by Oscar. Oscar and Benny. Up and down, head and body, head and body. Both gents trying different things, trying angles, and just going toe to toe. You could almost have this fight in a phone book, Shrew. I think so, and both players have not taken a backward step. This has been non-stop action for four and a half rounds. And the champ goes again for Oscar. A lot of support here for the 21-year-old Ledman. The crowd calling him on. Benny Caps not phased by it at all. And Oscar with that cut, blurring his vision, just keeps on coming. Nice right hand by Caps. And a good right left there on his own by Ledman. This will go close to the fight of the year. Yeah, I thought the Camilleri Lenlin one was a fight of the year candidate. This is only another one. Just another one. Both Warriors. Both gentlemen Warriors. What a match by Peter Manny Artis and his production team. This is based up in the mouth guards dropped. And that'll go back into Ben Caps. Oscar coming out of the neutral corner, that cut has seemed to have stopped the flow of bleeding a little bit. Straight nice. back to the boxing, both gentlemen. Nice use of the jab there by Ben Caps. And here we go, back to what we've been seeing for quite pretty much the whole distance of this fight. And Ben Caps, oh, oh, Ledlin, that's a nice right hand. The count as well, Benny Caps, tough as teeth. And a great right hand by Ledlin. Ten seconds. Both gentlemen want to finish in a flurry. And 
caps it. Oh, beautiful great work. Shots. Great work. What a fight. And the dog breaking out into a light counter. Canter. Light counter from the red to the blue corner. Just checking on both fighters. Two Warriors here tonight at the Malvern Town Hall. Concerned about their scars or cuts. I should say. And both fighters leaving it all on the line here at the Malvern Town Hall. The main event of the Ultra Tune Cup 2013. Two very composed young professionals that have just prepared so well for this fight, Shree, and both of them tough, business-like, with a lot of respect. The preparation is certainly showing through, and neither fighter has slowed down at all, and we're in the sixth round here. And a great right hand by Austin Ledland, but Ben Caps answers in return. It's an absolute war. Both gents going to town. Continue on, and... They've got a full repertoire of punches here, these fighters, and they've used them to full effect so far. Good little right hand straight left there by Benny Caps. Left hand there by Caps. Very clever left rip to the body, left hook there by Benny. Left foot, left hook works beautifully. He's so well balanced pulling that off Benny Caps. And Oscar, tough as nails, comes back with a right hand left hook. This is a great spectacle we're seeing here. This is an absolute privilege to be calling this fight tonight, True. I agree, and, and a nice little uppercut there by Caps. The cut opens up during the middle of the rounds, but at the beginning, once Beautiful jab. He's got a lovely jab, Oscar. That's what he fought Kamakeo with. It's working tonight. Great counter by Benny Caps. But the corner done a great job in concealing that cut. There's... This will go close to fight of the year. For the best part, Ledlin doing fantastic. So two caps and what a fight we're seeing here. And yes, this will certainly go close to fight of the year. Beautiful jab right hand. The one-two works for Oscar. Benny Caps countering well. You watch him go head body. He goes upstairs, downstairs. And this is where we see the, the heat turn up the last few seconds of the round. Both fighters have always ended it very, in very strong fashion. Well, it's a hotly contested weight division here in Victoria at the moment. The uh, light middleweight. And these gentlemen are two rising stars. Just going to town on each other. I don't know how the judges are going to separate this round. This will go around. This is like uh, Churo Gaddy versus Mickey Ward. Well, ladies and gentlemen, down here at Malvern Town Hall for the main event in the WBC Continental title. Shri Viswasan, an absolute honour to be here tonight. Would oh, you suggest? Oh, it is. It is an honour to be here in a massive, massive fight car we've seen and what a main event this is. Yeah, this is an absolute war. We'll go close to fight of the year. Almost uh, reminiscent of the Arturo Gatti Mickey Ward. What do you think, Shrew? Yeah, this fight, this, going by this fight, it looks like a trilogy. This fight's worthy of a trilogy. Round seven, ladies and gentlemen. Benny Caps in the blue corner, Oscar Ledland. Two Warriors in the light middleweight division here tonight at the Malvern Town Hall. Possibly the most electric six rounds of fighting I've seen here at Malvern Town Hall. And we've still got four to go. Unbelievable. Poots put on some absolute barn burners, but the claret, the even match, the heart of these two fighters is unbelievable. Nice left hand there by Caps. Beautiful work on the inside by both fighters. Even though Ledland's a taller fighter, you don't feel like it's really advantaged him in this fight. I think Caps has fought well to negate that. 
He, he does close the gap very well, Benny. Doesn't waste many punches. Counters beautifully. He's got a great kit of punches. Both fighters got a great kit of punches. The way Oscar rolls round to the right there, that's a seasoned professional that does that type of thing, not someone that sort of had seven fights. I mean, this is a fantastic outing by both gentlemen. He's losing a lot of claret, though, Shree. There he is. Um, uh, 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 we're going to have to recover pretty hard. And toe-to-toe, -to -toe, they just keep going at it. Good work by Oscar. That's great. He puts his oh, beautiful work by Benny Caps. Oh, great right hand there by Oscar Lydon. Bit of head, use of the head there. That's not going to help the cut. Tony Moretta just separating the gentleman. Third man in the ring tonight. Letting the gentleman go to town. They're not holding each other much. They're boxing on. Oh, Benny Caps there, lands quite a few shots there. Three, Lydon's defense oh, on the Big right hand there, landed by Benny Caps. How do you see this fight at this stage of the bout, Justin? I can't separate it. I can't separate it. It was a lucky punch on almost Benny just woke up with that right hand tagging in the first round. And uh, got off to a sort of, it was a lucky punch by Oscar, but it, since then, very, very hard to sort of decipher between who has got the upper hand. Yeah, it's going to be a tough job for the judges. Or and to Oscar's credit, despite the loss of blood, he's, he's still coming at him. Great left hand there by Oscar. Both boys, unbelievable.